Nora Tucker is looking forward to summer vacation in Wolf Creek, but when two inmates break out of the town's maximum security prison, everything changes. Hi, my name is Grant, and welcome to Meg Reviews. In this episode, I will review the book Breakout by Kate Messner. The book Breakout is written in letters, comics, text messages, poems, and news stories, which in the story, Nora collects for a time capsule project. In this novel, everyone's paranoid. The town is on lockdown, nobody knowing where the inmates are, but knowing that they're very dangerous men. The police are swarming the area with blockades popping up everywhere in an attempt to prevent the inmates from escaping the area. The main characters are Nora, Lizzie, who are best friends, and Elodie, whose brother is in the prison. During the book, all three of these characters write letters to the future residents of Wolf Creek, though Elodie also writes poems and letters to her brother as well. The the themes in this book cover industrial prison complexes, race relations in prison, institutional racism, and racial tensions in Wolf Creek. The main theme that stands out is racism because first, Wolf Creek's population is mostly white, and as well, the prison's population is also mostly white. This book is very well written with just the right amount of detail and each letter is very focused and detailed on its subject. Something I would change would be more context besides the letters, because some parts were very confusing and hard to understand. The poems I found were very unnecessary, as they repeated the letters, but in a different way. They also got quite boring, as there is about 10 pages full of them, and to me seemed like a waste when they could have been spread out throughout the book where people who do not enjoy poems would less likely skip through them. The way the author, previously a journalist, told the story was genius, and by taking advantage of her former career, truly made an amazing book. Another thing to mention would be the extent of depth of detail that the author has implemented in this novel. Personally, because of the style, it took me a while to get hooked, but once I was, I really enjoyed it. This book is 448 pages, so it is not for beginner readers. There are also a couple of words that may be more difficult to comprehend. The language in the book is very clean, therefore not including any swears nor many insults. The genre of this book is fiction, though it's based on a few real-life experiences from the author. If I were to rate this book out of 5 stars, I would give it a 4.5. I take away the first quarter star because of the lack of context and, in some places, details. I take away another quarter star because of the fact that several times there were letters or poems bunched up instead of being spread out within the book. The 4.5 stars that I do give it are because of several things. First off, the style was completely original, so it gave the book a distinct feel as well as being a fun challenge to read. Another thing was how believable the letters were and how well they fitted into the story. The final thing was the strongest message or theme, which was racism in prisons and in even small towns like Wolf Creek. I enjoyed how the author made this theme stick out and not try to hide it. All in all, this was a great book and I would definitely give it a thumbs up to go and read it.